Duff Noodles has found a new way to involve himself in trouble, and now it has come to him assaulting people at his comedy shows. I don't know if assaulting is the right word, but it is the word that everyone else is using, and it makes for a good YouTube title, so that's what I'm going with. Honestly, this whole drama in and of itself is really dumb. It's really surprising, especially considering the guy who he went after. So, Salvo Pancakes got pushed by Deaf Noodles, which really surprised me, again, because Salvo Pancakes only has like 5,000 subscribers. Like, the fact that he ended up on Deaf Noodles' radar and in a roast battle is just so insane. It also shows how bottom of the barrel Deaf Noodles' pickings were, because if, if you think that he would much rather have, like, Optimus or somebody of that caliber, like, duh, like, why do you... In any situation, he'd probably rather have Augie RFC than Salvo Pancakes. Because who cares about Salvo Pancakes, really? The only really big thing that he did was like the Mike the Bike song about Flamenco. Like, nobody cares about his show. That's the only reason why he had to go use Salvo. And without further ado, because I've been talking long enough as is, I want to show you the actual clip in which Salvo gets attacked. So here it is. So yeah, I don't even understand why you would think this would be an okay thing to do and we're gonna get into Death Noodles justifications in a little bit but there were people talking on Twitter and as you know I love talking about the ridiculous things said on Twitter so let's get right into those <clears throat> So Keemstar put out a tweet that said, I just witnessed a comedian assaulting another comedian because he couldn't take a joke. I just find it so hilarious that Death Noodles takes his comedy so seriously and he's making fun of people all the time. And he sees somebody making a joke about him and going to the trouble of coming to his show and he gets angry and tries to push him off the stage. Like, what even goes through your head to get to that level where you're like, oh, okay, you want to mess with me? I'm gonna push you up off of this stage and then when you come back and try to defend yourself I'm gonna make sure my security is in between me and you because I don't want to actually fight you but I do want to put your hands on I do want to put my hands on you so ridiculous dude my goodness it also is funny to think about the, that a guy so small is now on Keemstar's radar so definitely was uh, gave Salvo probably a big boost and through the coming days he'll probably gain a good amount of subscribers. So Salvo went on a bit of a Twitter rampage just constantly talking about the situation which makes sense you know milk it as much as you can and even said that his back hurt which I like as a tweet because even though in my uh, unprofessional opinion I don't think he got hurt from that little push he's like I probably already showed you going to be suing Deaf Noodles, so it's probably best for him to say, oh, my back hurts, like, this is really going to hurt me, guys, I'm, I'm really in pain right now, because it helps his case, simple as that, and if he does choose to sue Deaf Noodles, like, again, I'm not a law savant, but I'm pretty sure that he could probably get, a, you know, a little bit of change off of Deaf Noodles, considering that he assaulted him literally on camera, like, I don't know what that guy was thinking by doing that. It's so ridiculous. And then later on, some random girl with a water bottle came out. And I feel like that right there just showed like the lack of professionalism with the whole event. Like some random woman is just coming out pouring water on people. Apparently got on some other random lady that wasn't even involved because obviously like you're throwing water at somebody it, it's not like a straight shot it's gonna hit other people and i don't think that person really cared honestly they just wanted to be like oh i'm gonna get you back for standing on that stage deaf noodles keeps running 
these honestly just so embarrassing performances on in the, this little dinky comedy club that he has i don't know how he got it or what he did to buy it but bro it's it's just so embarrassing just to, even just to look at like what is this really what is this I really think that he wanted to be a comedian at some earlier point in his life and then he just getting getting turned down and turned down and turned down to the point of where he was like you know what I'm gonna do it on my own and he's just not good at it and he, it's like he's having his own little mini tanicons every couple of weeks they're, just, they're so disorganized he's literally having to yell over the crowd because they won't be quiet because half of them are trolls i mean you have on over half a million subscribers and you can't pull in more than 25 people and i say more than 25 people because in his response video to it all he mentioned that almost half the building was trolling and they laughed about it like oh man you know some people paid 50 dollars to be here and they're all trolling me. It's like, all right, well, I, that means people are willing to pay a lot of money to mess with you. So they must really not like you. I mean, you can take it either way. I prefer to be like, wow, how, how is, that must mean that they're really angry. But hey, if you want to be like, you know, they, they still put out all that money, then that's your prerogative. Prerogative. It doesn't really matter to me anyway. I, I really think that Death Noodles is clinging to this like american bad boy thing that he has in his twitter and he's trying to prove it it's it's like the person that like claims that they're like from the streets and they grew up in a rough area and they grew up in like the most suburban area possible like just be who you are okay you, you were wearing cat ears like two years ago i will always think about that like he went from wearing cat ears at, at 35 by the way because he's almost 40 which you shouldn't be fighting anybody at 40, okay? If you don't know how to resolve your words, at, resolve things with your words at that point, I don't know what you're even doing. Like, it's just so ridiculous. And if you have security, you don't have to physically put your hands on people. That's what the security is there for, so that you can be like, oh, okay, I'm gonna step back. These people that I pay lots of money are gonna handle you. But Dev Noodles really wanted to clear up the record around this entire story, so he decided to release a response video. Uh, it's pretty bad, as you would probably expect, and I just wanted to bring up a few points of interest for me. The main one being the fact that he takes forever to get to the point of why he pushed him. He first starts out by being, oh, here's my you know, thoughts behind it, and then he goes talking about like before how he was apparently banging on the windows and apparently uh, everyone who's in the room saw it but none of them thought to record it weird also he kept doing it and they decided to let him in weird i don't know why i i'm not saying for sure that death noodles is lying i'm not saying for sure that he's not it just sounds completely weird all around also there was this clip which is the closest thing to him explaining what actually happened. So it's like, yeah, get the fuck off the stage, yeah. bro. That and what that was do? the whole thing. I wanted to get the show started. I ain't trying to break in the green room. There's security here. Ampl there's amplified security because of you. Exactly. And other people. Yeah. So it's like, get the fuck off the stage. Yeah. This, I even this, had I even had an EMS because they were threatening to have people fake seizures yeah, and do yeah. other shit. So I had to, you know, I spent that shit a lot is of money. lame as fuck. You you want to fake to have a seizure? That's the first thing I said. I was like, it, you weird as fuck if you do. It's weird how the explanation for why he assaulted somebody is coming from some random employee of his. I think it was one of the people that walked out onto the stage once Deaf Noodles pushed Salvo. But I'm not 100% sure, but it does seem like that. It's just so weird. Also, if people are threatening to fake seizures, why would you why would you get an EMS there to, to prove that they're faking? Like, I don't know. And also, it's an event. Well, I was about to say, oh, well, you know, there maybe there's a need for an EMS because you're holding an event. No, it's like 50 people. You can just call the ambulances, call the EMS over the phone. That's why 911 exists because you can't have an EMS everywhere. It's just so ridiculous to see him come up with all these excuses and be like, oh man, you know, salvo pancakes was just the worst, okay? 
I really wanted him off my stage, so that's why I pushed him. Like, you can't just use that as an excuse, because it's not a, an excuse. It's at least not a good one. All right. There might be an explanation as to why you did it, but it doesn't excuse you from the blame of it. It doesn't make you alright to say that. It just means that you messed up. Alright, there's also this last little clip that I want to show you. Yeah, towards he the end. No jokes off. He got no jokes off. None. He had no jokes. He saw, you know what he said when he got the mic? He was like, I don't have roasts. I have a monologue. And he started talking. And you know what he started saying? So he's saying, Dennis is 40 years old. Dennis is blah, blah, blah. Like shit that I make fun of myself. Like, dude. <laughs> like, this act is like really. like an annoying ass little brother. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I find it interesting how he's using the Ethan Klein defense of like, I joke about that too. So that means you can't joke about it. Like, are you, are you the joke police now? Do you control what? other people should and shouldn't joke about like it's not like they're making super messed up comments about you they're literally just saying oh you're old and, it, and it's not like something that you've been joking about for a while because you just got exposed for it like a week ago this isn't a new thing this, this is such a new thing that you haven't been joking about it's not a new thing for deaf noodles to evade criticism though that's to be expected especially at this point so ならばどうする。ここで殺すか。いいか。僕はキラ。そして新世界の神だ。今の世界ではキラが法であり、キラが秩序を守っている。もはや僕は正義。<笑>